What's going on, y'all? <laughs> All right. So, first of all, I'm actually tired as hell. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm tired as hell. Here's what I did wrong. Um, before I got here to Orlando, um, of course, I had to do all the COVID protocol stuff and, and all that stuff, you know, to participate and do the medical webinar, yada, yada, yada. So I get here to Orlando and I go downstairs, you know, the USA track and field, you know, to um, get my badge and everything. And like, all right, what's up, baby? What's going on, y'all? Hey, man, good, long time, don't see. So I'm in the system, right? And then they're like, where's your, um, your, your, um, your vaccination card? And I was like, fudge it. Cause I, cause of course I've not been vaccinated. Um, I hope that don't change the way a lot of y'all feel about me, but I have not been vaccinated. So I had to do the, the, the testing to prove that I have not, I don't have COVID, you know, whatever the, um, PCR test, whatever. I actually do those tests at my gym. So if anybody need a COVID test in Dallas, Texas, um, we actually provide, um, COVID testing at my gym. Now, so therefore, which makes this even more hilarious because I do the testing. <laughs> so, but when I got here, I left the dang on test stuff at the gym. So I had to watch, and not that I cared, um, but I had to sit in a room and virtually watch every meeting. Um, actually, I think that that panned out to be better because. Um, it forced me to actually sit in the room and listen in on every single meeting that was going on. If I had, you know, had my shots and all, well not shots, but if I had all my, my medical stuff done, chances are I would not have um, attended as many meetings as I did. I attended all of them because I was sitting in my room here in Orlando. So that was actually a good thing. Now, I know a lot of y'all was um, keeping up via Twitter with me. Again, y'all, I'm I'm really, I wish I can give y'all the energy I usually give y'all, but when I say y'all, I am tired. I am tired. I mean, let's not forget, I do do a whole bunch of stuff in Texas too. So, and then that flight coming down here, I left it like before Jesus came up and woke up and I just ain't caught my sleep back up yet. So anyway, it's enough of all that. So, let's talk real fast about what's been going on down here. Right now, I'm just going to fill y'all in on the things that um, I'll be addressing more directly once I reach back to Texas tomorrow. Um, but I know a lot of y'all, you know, kind of want to know what's been going on down here and, and the things that I've found out and learned. Okay. Um, we'll go with this right here. The biggest thing that I found out or that I learned from being down here is uh, and, and when I say this, everybody knows why I'm here. And everybody knows I love all of y'all. It's no disrespect to no, and everybody knows that, but I'm going to continuously say that. You know, everybody knows that. Everybody who's at track and field knows that. Um, that's just who I am. I, I, and I've been, I mean, I made my first team in the year 2000. I mean, the junior team in 2000. I made the world championship team in 2003. All right. So I know everybody over there. All right. But anyway, so here we go. Here's what I figured out. I figured out that um, right now, and I feel confident saying this, right now, USA Track and Field, the business of USA Track and Field is being ran by people, two types of people. One, people who've never put on a pair of spikes never jumped into the dirt, never put a stick into a ground to get over a pole, never jumped over no steeple, done nothing. Second, well, that's the first thing. Second thing is a lot of these people haven't even coached anybody. And, and, and when I sit here and say this, I'm talking about, yeah, there's a bunch of meetings going on down here, y'all. There's a lot of meetings going on down here. There's only one major meeting, though, if you just call it what it is. A lot of them are just a bunch of discussions, and there's only one major meeting. And that major meeting, well, I'm going to get to that part. 
in that major meeting, you had one coach and you had one other person who had ever been an athlete, okay? And in this meeting was all the decision makers on some shit they've never done before. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but it slipped out. All the decision makers are people who've never done it before. Now, I'm gonna explain something to y'all. You know, I have fun with race take. Right now, I'm not being rate race take, I'm being great. If you don't know, I created an app that I actually sold off, but I got it back, another story. I created an app called Go Cairo. I literally created it. I drew it from the ground up. Olympic Fit Gym. Y'all know I created that. Um, you can go to iTunes right now and type, you can go to iTunes, Spotify, you name it, and type in The Voyagers, V-O-Y. How do y'all spell group name? Oh, V-O-Y-A-G-E-N-S. Again, The Voyagers, V-O-Y-A-G-E-N-S, and you'll see me music distribution company that I own. We distribute music. <laughs> you know, like the same thing that Warner and everybody else do. I own that too. Reason why I'm telling y'all on any course you know about Olympic Fit. And I'm also a traveling man. If you don't know what that is, my men who are traveling with their lights on, they know what I'm saying right now. Shout out to all of y'all. I've learned a great deal about business structure, how things should be ran. So when I'm sitting here at this meeting or these meetings, I'm sitting back and I'm looking at it, not from an athlete perspective, not from a coach perspective. I'm looking at it from a business perspective, how I run my day-to-day -day -day operations, how we run our day-to-day -day operations within my fraternity of brothers. I'm looking at it and I'm comparing everything that I'm seeing and learning to that. And I'm here to tell y'all, again, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or nothing like that, but this is a, this is a, this is a circus, y'all. This is not a business, okay? Again, please don't take this any way of being disrespectful because I know a lot of you say track and field people watch me. I love y'all. Y'all love me. But I, I got to, I got to open up and be honest. This shit is not what it's supposed to be whatsoever. I can sit here and assure you, man, it is. I can write a book on how much things are being done wrong down here. When I say I can write a book, I can write a whole book on everything that is not going the way it's supposed to go on the business side down here. I literally can see why it fails. I'm talking about literally, I'm sitting back like, you know, when I was an athlete, it was different because I didn't think with a business from a mind. You know, oh, I, I forgot to tell y'all. Hey, go go follow um, Ray's Shoe Closet. I just opened up a shoe store. But don't worry about all that. Anyway, so I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm, I, and I'm telling y'all, I didn't say nothing. When I tell y'all, I came down here to be an observer. I didn't come down here to debate with nobody, to argue with nobody, to discuss. I came down here literally to be an observer, a fly on the wall. Every meeting, I just sat there and listened, you know, because knowledge is power, information is power. So I sat there and listened so that I could see how things are, you know, operating. It's not right. <laughs> I don't know how many different ways I can say it. It's not right. Now, let's just go back to what I was saying about the main meeting, okay? You cannot, let me say this again. I'm going to get up close and personal. And tell you and say what I'm about to say, all right? You cannot have people who've never done something making the decisions for people who do it. That is so ass backwards. I've never, you name any business, <laughs> you name any business to where the people who are making the decisions somehow, some way, don't have something to do with that. As in, they didn't work their way up the CEO chain to where they're CEO because they started out as a regular employee. Or they are in the CEO position because of their resume at other companies doing exactly this. Okay? Make it make sense. Ray Edwards should never be on any board 
anywhere with anything to do with the NBA or the NFL or any other sport. Why? I have never done it. So I can't understand what you go through. It's impossible. I can't sit there and make a decision for football players that's going to that's gonna help them in the future. Why? I don't know what it feels like to be a football player with whatever problem you have. So how can I make a decision for you that's in your best interest when I've never been in a position to even have to have somebody look at my best interest? How is that even? Think about it. How is that possible? How is that possible? And here's the other thing. Y'all noticed. I'm sitting back and I'm listening to that meeting. I'm like, man, it's one coach in there. Only one coach. <laughs> Only one. How many athletes are in there? Zero. And no disrespect to this one coach because he know I love him and, and, and he'll probably call me a sack of MFers just for anything. He's one of the oldest coaches we have. But I got to say it right. He, he really ain't one of the oldest. He just the oldest in age, but he don't act it. But what I'm trying to really get to is that there is no voice for us in that room at all. There isn't one. Literally, there's not a single voice for the voiceless in that room that's making decisions. I watched it with my own eyes, y'all. I literally watched them, and I'm listening in, and I'm listening to the coach, you know. I'm listening to him pretty much go to fight for the sports side of it. And what I'm, what I'm saying to y'all right now is what he was saying to them in the meeting. He literally said it. He literally said, out of everybody in this room, I mean, I mean, he said it politely. You know, he didn't. He wasn't disrespectful. You know, like how I say stuff sometimes. He politely said, "Out of everybody in this room, none of y'all have even done this. So how do you know what it takes to do this?" Okay. Now I'm gonna get on the financial side, and 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 again, I ain't gonna be too long because I'm gonna wrap this thing up when I give it to Dallas, and it's gonna be on Jack, and I'm gonna tell y'all what we finna do to fix it. One of the complaints was, um, they feel it was. They, oh, they felt it was very necessary for um, high performance. So they wanted to increase the budget for high in performance. I'm going to stay calm because I think about it. It's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. Let me explain to y'all in case y'all don't know what high performance is. High performance is when they take out expensive cameras and then they see what livers are doing this and then that you can come in, they can check your DNA and do all this fancy science shit. That's some bullshit. They don't do nothing, okay? Okay? It don't do nothing. Why don't it do nothing? USA was dominating before there was even a high performance. You got a high performance now, you can even get a damn stick around the track. You probably shouldn't be giving that money to high performance. You probably should be giving that money to got my own coaches and athletes to get their shit together. But you have never been there to understand that, bro, high performance shit ain't going to help us. That ain't going to make us run no faster. Give us some money. Give us that money. Give it to our coaches. Bring back our relay camps. Bring back the shit when you was giving the, when you, the athletes was doing stuff. Why would you be trying to increase a budget of some science shit. And then they were sitting there like, and you know, we, we've learned, you know, through science. Nigga, I'm, ooh, that slipped out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm going to say it like this here. Y'all know me. I make my living on biomechanics, front side mechanics. That ain't what y'all talking about at high performance. It's not what you're teaching either. So therefore, you pumping all of this money into something that, to me, is pointless. It's pointless. And not only are you pumping all the money into it, you want to raise the budget and give them more money. All right, cool. Not only high performance, um, the, 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 the medical people and all that, they're going to bump up. And I'm sitting here and I'm listening in. I'm like, and I'm sitting there with, y'all, I was, go check my Twitter. Y'all to see on my Twitter from yesterday how hard I was going. I was in here literally like jumping up and down on the bed and everything when, when um when uh Coach Jones was in the time because I agreed. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You going and pumping more money into things that aren't helping. It's not helping. Again, you've spent 
I don't know. I'm going to go look at, oh, this one I can tell you when I get back. I'm going to be ready because I'm going to go look at all these numbers, all these. I want to know. I want to know every dollar and where it went. Will I find out? Probably not. But I'm going to try because the way I'm sitting here looking at it is. So let me get this straight. Team USA is going downhill. We had one of the worst appearances in Olympic history. And your new idea is to give more money to the damn high performance. So you think, you think, <laughs> you think the, 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 the solution to the problem that we are having in, in, in USA track and field is a high performance issue to where we need to give high performance a better budget so that we can figure out why the hand is at eight degrees instead of seven degrees. Why is the foot touching here and not touching? Bro, let folks do that shit on their own. That's a budget that's be that's a budget that's that's that don't even need to be done. Why? Again, look at your numbers, look at your product. All you gotta do is do a product analysis. When you in when you introduce this high performance, whatever you wanna call it, did it help? Or hurt your products. It ain't helped your products. So now you got to sit there and say, okay, where can we cut back cost at? Because the main issue that we're hearing about is funding. The main issue we are hearing, the main complaints is funding. Coaches are complaining about funding, so they don't want to coach. Athletes are complaining about funding, so they want to run. But your idea is to do your Financial analysis and, oh, you know what? I know how we can make it better. Let's increase the budget of high performance. Okay, so that's what I mean by, you got a bunch of people in here who are playing business, some that are wanting to do business, and a whole lot of them that ain't got no business even being here. And I'm just keeping it 100% calling it what it is. I'm just being honest with y'all. Like, that's what I came down here for, for me to see for myself. So then, let's go ahead and get to this part. So then, you know, I started causing an uproar, you know, because athletes are DMing me, you know, and telling me, like, no, Ray, that ain't why we ain't there. We ain't there because they tried to charge me to come here. Well, that's, first of all, that's, a, that's, that's, that's dumb in itself. Okay. And then, you know, they cleared it up and saying, well, no, we don't charge you if you get it done in time. If you put your your information in time. Well, to me, that sounds like a cop-out. Sounds like a damn cop-out. Why? You shouldn't have to get no information in in time. You should be sending it to the athletes anyway, saying, hey, you are coming to the meeting. You're coming. Ain't no, well, if we don't hear from you, we ain't gonna let you in. No. To me, that sounds like you don't want them here. That's what that sounds like to me. And I'm speaking from a lot. I'm speaking from the fact that, come on, y'all. From 2000, I just I just gave y'all my rundown. I did 10 years, 10 years of being in the top 10 in the U.S. And I never came to any of these meetings. Why? Half the time I didn't want to. Because I, I because what happens is. After you leave World Championships, after you leave Olympic Games, even if you went that far, if you didn't go that far, you are so fed up with the political bullshit that goes on to where when you when the season's over with, the last thing you really want to do is see anybody from USA track and field. Let's just call it what it is. I'm going to call it what it is. just like I know what you don't care. Why? Because, again, think about it. You've mistreated me all season long, <laughs> all right? You've mistreated me. You politically screwed me over, and you think in my off-season time that I get to myself, I want to come sit in your face? I'm going to let that sink in for a second. That's why I didn't want to be here. That's why I didn't want to be here. But now I understand the importance of being here. I also understand that, look, y'all, this is why I got raised tape. 
say the way I want to say it. Y'all can pull that malarkey somewhere else. Because I play chess. <laughs> I sit in boardrooms. I've been had this. You can play that somewhere else. Somebody else talking about some, well, the athletes, they, they're always welcome. They're always, make them feel welcome then. Don't, you can tell anybody, you welcome. But are you making them feel welcome? Are you sitting here saying, hey, we really want y'all here? Hey, we matter of fact, what do we got to do to get y'all here so that we can all get together? Because then you actually are saying we want you here. You're actually saying your voice matters. We're saying you need to come here. But when I hear people, you know, like, you say, whatever, they say, well, we sent out an email, and if you didn't respond, what? <laughs> what? What? Let's put, let, let's put this in perspective. You got athletes who are getting suspended for two years for not doing a whereabouts. You think they damn checking an email? Come on. It's, it's almost like y'all setting that shit up on purpose. Come on. Let me make sure I put it into another perspective. You can come to my house and knock on my door every day. You can send you soda at my house to get pissed, to kick me out the sport every day. But you can't get nobody to keep reminding me, hey, you need to be at the meeting. It sounds like you don't want me though. I don't give a damn on what you say. I hear what you're saying. Your actions aren't saying that though. Your actions aren't saying you want me here as an athlete. Your actions are saying you want me to shut up and run. That's what your actions are saying. Uh, you know, and, and, and again, I told you, I ain't no disrespect nobody. I'm calling what he call it how I see it. You know, no, y'all don't want no athletes here. Because if you did, you'd be doing more. You wouldn't be giving them no, oh, uh, well, if you don't get anybody this deadline, now you got to pay 125. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Y'all know y'all can do way better than that. If you wanted these athletes here, you know good and damn well you could do better than, well, we send them an email and they don't respond. Oh, well, we start with the Olympians first, and then, you know, after the Olympians, we send the emails out to the, to the next tier. No, 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 no. Ain't no such thing as we start at the top. And then, no, no. You send it to everybody. You allow any and everybody to come in. If you have competed in a t at any USA's, if you have put on a damn uniform, that is your gateway in. I don't give a damn about no, well, the Olympians first. No. Why? Because I too just ran at the trials. And this shit will also affect me. I don't give a damn if I ain't an Olympian yet or whatever. What about the, the person who went to Worlds or whatever? Or, I, 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 this shit just, it don't add up. Business-wise, it don't add up. It is one of the most, and I've, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff on the business side. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Not that I'm ever trying to toot my own horn, because I've never tried to do that. But I can assure y'all, I can assure y'all, my mentors are billionaires and millionaires. These are the people that I've surrounded myself with when I left track and field to create something, to learn something, to learn structure. Even when I was in the U.S. military, it was structure, okay? The that I saw go on in this meeting, man, that shit, we at Disney World, so I can say this, Mickey Mouse could have put that shit on. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all like that. Man, that meeting, I guess why I was at Disney World, because that shit was not a meeting. I'm sitting here like, and then the one thing that I noticed out of every single meeting I listened in on, Where's the resolution at? No, like literally, where is the fucking resolution? I kept hearing issue, 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 issue. They talked about the issues. Okay, where's the resolution at? Not a single meeting that I sit in on did I hear any resolution or anybody come to one accord and a gavel be hit. This is what we're doing then. All the eyes in favor say I. All the nays say nay. That shit didn't happen nowhere. No, 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 no. What I saw at that main meeting was, I'm going to end it with this right here because I don't want to go too in-depth because I ain't supposed to be on this part. I just want to give y'all a check-in because I'm going to go in when I get back. 
plus I still gotta go down here to the red carpet thing, and a lot of them gonna see me, so they might watch the video. So I don't wanna, you know, but oh well, forget it. That's why I'm Moses. In that meeting, in that meeting, it looked like to me they came pretty much as Bogart and bullies. It wasn't a it wasn't a meeting to like talk. It was more of you can say what you want, but this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> like, 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 trust me when I say this. That meeting, the main meeting that makes the decisions, it was more like everybody that came in there that don't do nothing in track and field as far as running came in there to pretty much let everybody else know this is what's gonna happen. This is what we're doing. You can tell us what you think. You can open up to us. Just how you feel. You don't mean nothing. We're telling you what we're going to do. That's how I picked up on that whole meeting. Trust me. We're telling you what we're going to do. But don't none of this shit make no damn sense. Literally. Y'all, I'm saying I'm telling y'all. Literally. I see it for myself now. And again, I'm not trying to be no disrespect for nobody, but if you're going to run a business, run a god doggone business. This is a multi 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 million dollar business that be that the meeting is at Disney World for a reason cuz it, it correlates too well for me. I'm just, I'm I'm sorry y'all, I'm just going to keep it real like I always do. This is a multi million dollar business that is being ran by I'm not going to say unfit people. It's not what I'm going to say. I'll say unfair people. And I'll also say by people who should not be in certain positions. Simple as that. Simple as that. So here's what here's what somebody would say, though, because I'm ready for this. I can't wait till I get back. I can't wait till I get back and I can go. I can give a note sign, give y'all everything. Well, Ray, you feel that way. So you think athletes are more qualified to make major decisions for a major company? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, athletes are more qualified. I don't give a damn what you went to Harvard. I don't give a damn if you went to Yale. I don't care what school you went to. You've never been in the field. As we say in the military, we don't want to go to war with a captain. Okay? If you're in the military, you already know where I'm going at with this. We don't want to go to war with a captain. We don't want to go to war with a lieutenant. We don't want to go to war with no general. Why? Because y'all went to school to become that. You've never been in the field. You've never been in the jungle. So I'm not going to war with you. I'm going to war and I'm following my drill sergeant. I'm going to war and I'm following my top sergeant. Why? I don't care that you outrank him as a captain. I know this man going to make sure I make it home alive. Why? He's been there before. That's wisdom. Wisdom. Again, which is why Coach Nelson, he was sitting there. He, that's wisdom sitting there. He been in track and field for ever. So anything he said should have been, we're doing that. Why? Because you you know what you know what you're talking about. This is what you do. This is what you do. You have you you're wise in that. So we should follow you in that. Now, I know what y'all say there. Okay, Ray, well, if you're gonna do that route, how do you know where track athletes need to be? Look here, y'all. A lot of us track athletes ain't dumb. When I say ain't dumb, we do more than just run. We are more than just runners. Some of us did go to school for business. Some of us went to school, like myself, in the streets for business. Call it what it is, you know. But we, we, we're intellectual people that we can see stuff to where, like, look here, bro. I don't need no degree to tell you this shit ain't right. <laughs> like, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need that. I do not need no degree to tell you that. Y'all ain't running this shit right well for doggone whatsoever. Not even at all. Y'all got... Ten chiefs in here. Y'all got ten chiefs in here. It ain't but two of the damn chiefs ever really. No, let me say it right. You got ten chiefs in here. It ain't but two of the chiefs really got doggo Indians. I'm going to say it again. You got ten chiefs in here. It ain't but two of them real Indians. Now, how is that going to work, Sway? How is that going to work? I can tell you how it's going to work. It's not going to work. That's why it's never worked. It's still not working. It's never going to work. And here's the main problem I'm going to get off of here. 
they probably gonna kick me out of my room once I upload this here in a minute and be like, man, you gotta go. Bye. We didn't we didn't fly you down here for this. <laughs> yeah, you did. But anytime somebody's pocket will be affected, they don't want to hear what you got to say. Let me make sure I explain it better. Anytime somebody's pockets will be affected from a change, they don't want it. I'll say it even better for you. Anytime a group of friends, a group of friends, pockets are going to be affected collectively, they don't want no change. What? I'm not going to sit here and call out no, none of the extra names. But if I'm sitting here, and some of y'all folks in your track field know who I'm, what people I'm talking about. If I'm making right under a million dollars a year, if I'm making <laughs> right under a million dollars a year, I get to go to all the track meets in the world. I get to go to World Championships, Olympic Games. I get to meet all the athletes. You know, they got to speak to me, yada, yada, yada. If I'm making right under a million dollars a year, do you really think I give a damn about what you say? No, I don't. Why? Because I can't feel what you feel because I've never been in your shoes. So I don't give a damn about what you're crying about because I don't know what it feels like. I don't know what it feels like to be a broke, hungry athlete. What the hell do I care about it for? I don't know what it feels like to be a coach who coaching athletes who need more funding. What the hell I'm going to care for? I don't, I don't know what that feels like. I don't, I don't care. Me and none of my good old, me and none of my friends, we don't know what that feels like. So we, we can't empathize with you to take it out of our cut because I don't know what that feels like. You just on your own. I'm sorry. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm right underneath them. I'm at $985,000 a year, Jack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I fly around for free. Man, I can hop on a private plane I want to. I don't even know you. What I mean by know you is, you're an athlete. At the end of the day, you work for me. That's just how I, I'm giving to y'all how I read everything here. At the end of the day, it looks like, I'm not going to say it looks like a plantation. It just looks like a bunch of people are in position and they're making people work for them so that they can keep their money and don't give a damn about those people not getting money. They don't give a damn about the folks who are down here at the Bible who ain't eating. They don't care. Because if you cared, you would make damn sure that the people who aren't eating are here with you, sitting at the table with you so that they all can eat together. You're doing it on purpose my question is why why it's a rhetorical stupid question because I know why because I just said it 985,000 right but what we got to start to understand as athletes now and as former athletes and as future athletes, this shit got to stop. And what I mean by stop is just, just since I've been here now and I've been putting up stuff, putting up stuff on Twitter and everything like that, this shouldn't be athletes from 20 years ago saying, oh, man, that shit ain't shit still going on? Huh? What? It shouldn't be athletes from 10 years ago saying, oh, man, yeah, man, they, they ain't going to change. That's why I stopped going. What? It shouldn't be present athletes like, oh, man, I ain't got no time for that, man. They ain't going to do nothing. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I love using track and field. That's why I'm here. But like I always say on my show, though, right is right, wrong is wrong. That's what I stand for. Right now, it's a lot of shit going on that ain't right. That's what I'm here for. To figure it all out. And I figured it all out. So here's what's going to happen. Y'all gave us enough information. And what I mean by enough information, you gave us, y'all gave us enough information for us to utilize. You said athletes are welcome. Okay. You said 
Athletes just have to put their information in in time and it'll be paid for. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we're going to hold y'all to that. We're going to hold y'all to that. Don't worry about how. Just trust. And believe. A year from now, USA Track and Field annual meeting, if I'm still breathing, Lord, keep me in. I can assure you, I can assure you, there will be more athletes here next year than you've ever seen before. And all these athletes, since you just openly said, you literally said, you can attend any meeting you want. We're coming to that one then. We're coming to the one that y'all in. We don't care about the AAC meeting. I love it. I'm not saying it like that. We don't care about that meeting. We don't care about the voting meeting. We don't care about none of them other meetings. We are solely coming down here to sit right next to you in that men's and women's USA track and field meeting so that you can look at all of us former, present, and past track athletes in our face and then tell us bullshit like you need high performance more than you need to eat. 